Steve Breston for Class Act Sports. Joy Taylor for Class Act Sports here with Woody High alum Steve Breston. We didn't even know we were gonna we were gonna be here. Yeah, we didn't. I just walked over at seeing you. You know, you so Miami now. You're not even. Oh. I don't think you come from Woody High no more. So <laughs> he's trying to say I'm denying my roots. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> we're out here supporting a great cause. What brings you out here? Oh, uh, so, you know, Shady's a great person. You know, you see the fans is packed with a bunch of people. Everybody back just helping the charity out for Shady, and uh, it's a great cause. So. Now you have a, a foundation yourself and you do some things in the community in Pittsburgh and you have a camp for, for young kids. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, so yeah, Steve Reston Foundation, you know, me and Ryan Mundy doing a clinic back in, uh, you know, Woody High. And uh, we bring a bunch of the guys back, you know, it's a free clinic for the kids and a lot of communities come together and, you know, we just have a good time there. Joy Taylor for Class Act Sports here with Steve Breston, Woody High alum, caught up with each other here in Lancaster, Lancaster far away yeah. from both our homes. What are you bring? Uh, what are you doing out here today? I'm um, just come out here, help support Shady, you know, with this event, and it was a good turnout today, and I, had, I really had fun out here today. You played a good game, too, which is so surprising because you're such an athlete. You had a, uh, a home run? Solid, yeah, had a home run, four for four today, you know, kept my team in the game. We lost, you know, we lost close at the end. It was, it was great all of our performance today. Did you play baseball in high school? I played you played about 18 sports, I so I can't keep track. I played up to 10th grade, you know. Then they told me I had to run track, which I didn't really run track. I just sat in the locker room and went out on the track when it came around. So you was there. You was, you didn't. Little you known didn't fact run. about Stevie, I'm she the only practice. girl in the history of times ever beat Stevie in a race. Do you remember that? I was running backwards. I was running backwards <laughs> in practice. So she might have got me that day, but. Any other day, I would beat her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you have a charity yourself, and you do a camp in Pittsburgh for young kids. Tell us a little bit about that camp. Uh, I do a clinic uh, back on uh, Woody High, you know, with Ryan Mundy, and uh, it's, it's been great uh, this past year. Last year was our first year. It was a great turnout. We got a lot of volunteer work, so all the communities got together, and it, it was just it was a great, great cause, just, you know, bringing guys back from around the area and showing kids, you know, what they become, not only with the athletes there, but with the volunteer work and the, the people that come back and help support the community like that. Now, it's off season now. You've just recently made the move over to Kansas City. How are you liking it? Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, last year, I was kind of like rushed out there with the lockout and everything. And uh, I think this year I'm building like more chemistry with my teammates and, you know, just all through last season, I was trying to get to know the teammates and they were trying to get to know me. And I got a real good relationship out there with them. And, uh, and I love the guys out there, and we're just working to, you know, hope try to go out there and compete for a Super Bowl. Now, you don't make it down to Miami very often, but I don't know if you know or not, the Heat won. How do you feel about uh, LeBron being able to kind of hang it up as far as putting the, putting the haters down and letting them know he got his first championship? He's been, he's kind of a, you know, he's been under the, under the rug for a little while. I think he's been under the microscope, but, you know, with a talent like him, you know, that's going to happen. I think the biggest thing was him, he really kept focused. I mean, you can never, you know, with all the things that was going around, going on around him, you know, like you said, a lot of hate and things like that. You know, you know, this is this is a sport, you know, football, I mean, NBA and things like that. There's going to be a lot of the fans that are just going to dislike you, you know, not because of who you are, because they're fans of the game. They don't want you to win. But I think he I think he understood that he went out there and played this game and he got a championship. You know, he's, he's still young. You know, he's he's very talented. He's probably going to get several more. So. Well, good luck this season, and uh, Woody High for life. Woody High for life. <laughs> I don't know about her. She doesn't come back much. I think she's Miami now. I make it back enough. Right. <laughs> Joy Taylor for Class Act Sports.